Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our second day of virtual college tours. We're so happy to have you here with us again. As a reminder, this programming is brought to you by a strong partnership with Buffalo Public Schools, Say Yes Buffalo, and you, our community of students and parents. Um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first co virtual college tour of the day, Villa Maria College. We have with us here today, Nate Strauss, an admissions counselor here at Villa Maria College. Take it away, Nate. All right. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, we're really excited to be a part of this virtual college week with uh, with Say Yes Buffalo. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just kind of going through a little bit of a PowerPoint, tell you a little bit about Villa Maria College. Um, we're certainly the smallest school in Buffalo, so a lot of people very often forget about Villa, but what we do, we do exceptionally. So I um, just want to share a little bit about what we do here at Villa. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through that PowerPoint first. All right, so um, now Intergraduate of Villa Maria College, if, if you haven't been on campus before, this is our, uh, our main building here on campus, um, and we'll start there. Um, now, in regards to what we do at Villa, we're a small private college, and we're focused on our student success at Villa. Um, we have three different departments, which um, include our music department, arts, and liberal arts professional studies. Um, we have 18 different degree programs, um, including 12 bachelor degree programs and eight associate degree programs. Uh, we have a very diver diverse student body. Um, we're roughly right around 600 students, and we're growing each and every year. On average, our student faculty ratio is right around nine to one, which is a very small, intimate class setting. We get to know your instructors and they get to know you. Um, that's certainly different than, than most colleges um, where you may sit in a class and you may not know anyone um, or even your instructors. Um, that's certainly not how we operate and we get to know everyone, everyone gets to know you. Another big thing that's an uh, uh, integral part of the Villa education is internships. Um, all our students are required to do internships, which very often lead to um, you know, that, that first job, and it gives you a foot in the door for, for many employers. Um, now, in, as far as our programs, um, the programs we offer, animation, business, communications, computer software development, uh, creative writing literature, digital filmmaking, uh, our fine arts, um, our flexible business program, which is kind of like a hybrid online business program. And we do offer a game design program. I'll touch on that in just a moment as well. Now, in regards to other programs we offer, graphic design, integrated arts, interior design, um, you know, liberal arts, uh, music and music industry, um, occupational therapy assistant, photography, physical, physical therapist assistant, and uh, our psychology program. Now, in regards to that game design program I mentioned, it's probably piqued a lot of people's interest. Uh, you can go to school to design video games. Um, this is 2020 and the world is changing and we are excited to be on the, uh, the, the forward thinkers of that movement where we are the only school in Buffalo that currently offers that game design program. Um, that program and one of our advisors who's also with us, Jonathan, he can uh, touch on that a little bit as well if we have any questions. Um, but it's a combination of animation and computer software development. So we teach you how to create that art aspect as well as how to program the computers. We also are offering scholarships for playing video games for our esports um, team. So we have a beautiful new esports room that we just uh, we just finished building this year. And it is an exceptional uh, place to, um, to take part in the esports team. As far as student life, um, we're really a family at Villa Marie College. And everyone you know, stresses that, that um, you know, you're part of the Villa family. So uh, student life is a big part of that. Um, you know, some of the things you can do on campus, you can have, you can be an orientation leader, press student government, uh, theme programming, um, and we do a lot of different, uh, trips and a lot of different entertaining events on campus. Um, there's always something to do on campus. There's always something going on and it's always exciting times. We also have 18 different student run clubs and organizations. Um, they're both academic and social clubs as well. Our sports teams. We are part of the uh, USCAA and we have eight intercollegiate athletic teams that compete in the USCAA. Um, we just uh, finished updating our athletic center where we have a beautiful weight room, two regulation gyms, um, and that, like it says right there, that brand new auxiliary gym, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, the sports we do offer is basketball, soccer, cross country, bowling. And of course, we also offer that eSports as well. Um, so we certainly hope you're interested in being a Villa Viking. As far as housing, 
Uh, Villa Marie College actually partners with Collegiate Village, which is about a mile away from campus, mile and a half. Um, but you can use your financial aid to cover that. Um, and there's a dining hall, in-ground pool, movie theater, game room, gym right on campus. If you've never been to Collegiate Village, it's absolutely incredible. Um, much nicer than any dorm you'll find. And the great part is you can use your financial aid to cover that. Um, there's a free shuttle that runs to and from the campus uh, nearly on an hourly basis. Um, there's a lot of different events as well at Collegiate Village. Because same thing with Bill Murray College, they stress that they want you to be a part of a family there as well. As far as the admissions checklist, then what you want to do if you are interested in Villa, which we certainly hope you are, um, you can apply online right at villa.edu or simply go to apply.villa.edu. Uh, the next step is to submit a copy of your high school transcripts. Um, so we can certainly help you with that, um, or you can just reach out to your admission, your uh, guidance counselor and they can email them right over to us. Um, we have a very quick turnaround um, and uh, you know, we can let you know usually within a day or so whether you've been accepted or not. Um, and the step three right there, which we certainly hope is, is pretty soon, come for individual visit. Um, we can tell you about how Great Villa is, but once you're there, you'll see exactly how Great Villa is. You'll see how it is a family. Um, you'll get to meet students and you can even you know, talk to a student like we have Nihilus joining us as well. He'll be able to if you're on tour, tell you exactly how Villa is much different than any other college. Um, and uh, we really want to stress how involved our students are and how involved they are with their instructors. So uh, coming for a visit is a great way to actually see that. And as far as the different types of financial aid that we do offer, um, Villa Marie College is very, uh, you know, we are very generous with our financial aid options. Um, you know, we encourage you to do that fast for um, as soon as possible. As soon as you're interested in college, fill up that FAFSA. Um, as far as the, you know, you can use that, that Pell Grant, that TAP. Um, you can also do some work study. Um, and if need be, you can also look at these student loan options as well. And the one thing I just want to stress as well, Villa Marie College is extremely proud to partner with CES Buffalo. Um, we do not have any limits on CES. Um, so there's a limited number of students are allowed to apply for that. And as someone who I previously worked as a contractor for the, uh, the U.S. Department of Education as far as student loans, this say yes opportunity is an incredible opportunity for our students. So we certainly hope they are able to take advantage of that. Um, now stay connected with us. Here at Villa, like I said, we're part of a family. Even when the students are enrolled, we still, admissions has a big part of their life. So we want you to stay connected now while you're in school and even after you graduate. To stay connected with us, again, my name is Nathan Strauss. Feel free to reach out to me and Strauss at Villa.edu. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, you can even online chat with us and we have the ability to text as well. So we know the preferred method of communication these days is certainly text. Um, so we're more than happy to, uh, to text students. You can always check out, unfortunately, again, because of right now everything, the world be on pause. Um, but keep, keep an eye out for different events coming up, um, you know, whether it's a hip hop ensemble or an art exhibit in our art gallery, um, you know, recitals in our recital hall, um, you know, or even just uh, we have a lot of gaming events and whatnot to, to really show um, off our, our esports room. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for that coming pretty soon once the world gets back to go, going normal. So. Um, thank you for your time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass on to Maricel, who's going to do our, uh, our virtual tour, um, show you a little bit about the campus here. Villa Maria College is the premier student-centered college in Western New York. A vibrant and dynamic campus, Villa is home to some of the most talented students, accomplished faculty, and dedicated staff. As we take you across our campus today, try to picture yourself here. Located in Buffalo, New York, Villa Maria offers its students access to all of the culture, entertainment, and food that the Western New York region has to offer. Founded in 1960 by the Felician Sisters, Villa Maria College is a private Catholic college that lives its dynamic Felician Franciscan spirit to enrich and transform the lives of its students. Offering bachelor's and associate's degrees, as well as certificates in 18 different academic programs, Villa Maria's strength lies in our studio-based education, a nine-to-one student-to-faculty ratio, and faculty who bring the real-world experience into the classroom. 
Students learn and grow with a culturally diverse population that lives its core values instilled by the Felician Sisters. The main building is the heart of our campus. Because most of the classrooms and labs for our fashion, graphic design, photography, animation, and most other academic programs are located here, you'll likely spend most of your time in this building. In addition, our student life office, bookstore, dining hall, art gallery, career services, and more are housed here. The main building is also home to the Library and Student Success Center, a professional recording studio, a newly renovated recital hall, and an impressive auditorium. This is Felician Hall, where you'll find our admissions and financial aid offices. If you're considering enrolling as a PTA or OTA student, you'll be spending a lot of time here. In addition to housing the classrooms for these health science programs, this building also contains the labs that will allow you to get the practical, hands-on experience that can help you prepare for your licensure exams and get a job in the field. Felician Hall is also home to the Development Office, our Achieve program for students with learning differences, and an after-school program that benefits low-income children in our community. Get in the game with the Villa Vikings and our newly renovated Athletic Center. Join a team or support your fellow Vikings by cheering from the stands. Villa offers intercollegiate athletic teams that compete in the USCAA. The gym, fitness center, social hall, and pool are open for all students to use. Villa Maria College is a small campus that feels like a big community. Being student-centered is at the heart of everything we do. Find out for yourself by scheduling a visit to the campus or by visiting villa.edu. All right, guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video right there. Uh, my name is Jonathan Rivera Perez. I am a SAS academic coach and uh, student success coordinator for our student success center, which is um, like the video showed out um, in the uh, library building. So basically, my job on campus is to uh, provide you guys with uh, different types of support that you guys are going to certainly need along the way in order to be successful. Okay. Um, some of the things that we uh, cover with you guys as freshman students coming in um, is, is certainly about setting yourselves up in a position where every single day you can come in and do your best work um, on campus or off campus, right? Um, so we provide uh, physical right there, right in front of you support, but we also uh, provide support uh, virtually for you guys. So if uh, you want to reach out to uh, any of us in the Student Success Center, uh, we, we can provide that type of support for you or just give us a call, right? We're, we're pretty much uh, available for you guys anytime. Um, so the idea is that once you guys go through the admissions process and finish up with uh, all of the uh, financial rate requirements, then you move on to register for classes. Um, so our first interaction is going to be uh, just figuring out what your schedule is going to be for the uh, semester that you're coming in for. Um, so we do a couple of meetings throughout the semester, but that, that will be the first one, the, the first registration meeting. Um, I, I kind of walk you through different ways that I can support you. Um, we identify what are the things that you need to set up uh, prior to the start of the semester, like transportation, um, figuring out if you have any special education accommodations, how we kind of set those up and put those up in place. Um, so we notify your instructors. Um, so let's say that maybe you have like extra testing time or, or you might need to sit up front to be able to see a little bit better. Those are some of the examples that of accommodations that we kind of put in place for you guys. Um, if, if that was one of your needs, right? Um, we also figure out if we uh, need to set you up with any of our, our services on campus. So in a little bit, Jasmine is going to uh, talk to you guys about um, some of those services available. But um, in terms of the uh, Student Success Center, you will have access to a tutoring center. And that's the one that's in the uh, library building um, that, you that you guys just saw on that uh, virtual tour. So we provide tutoring for almost any subject um, on campus. We, we provide those virtually and uh, in person. And we really just sit down with you, have a one-on-one. -on -one. Some of these tutoring sessions might be 15 minutes long uh, or even an hour, half an hour, whatever you wanna do. Um, and it really put you in a place where you could be successful along the way. Um, you know, sometimes just getting one person to go over a paper, maybe 
um, for a little bit before you actually turn in that project, we're really bringing you over that hump. And, and really um, some of the people that I see in the Student Success Center doing tutoring sessions um, whenever they can are really the people that are striving for perfection there. So um, it's a great opportunity, it's all free, it's included um, into the services that we provide for you. Um, so it's some, something that I certainly recommend that students take advantage of. Some of the other things that the uh, Student Success Center provides is uh, we, we have in that uh, tutoring center, we have all, all kinds of computers in there for, for you guys to uh, kind of uh, do your work. If uh, our tutoring center tends to be a little bit more vocal compared to the library. So if you wanted to do any more, uh, any, any group work, you could do that too. Uh, if you wanted to work on, on any of the computers there, especially the ones that have the welcome tablets. Uh, if you're an animation student, you can take care of that as well. And um, we're really just, creating a really helpful environment for you guys to thrive. Um, so you might just come in with a small question about what uh, what is registration, you know, when's a good time for you to create your schedule for the following semester. We, we provide all those uh, answers for you guys there. So, um, you know, when today's uh, kind of like a virtual walkthrough, I want you guys to, uh, to think about some of the things that you, um, are wondering some of those questions that you might have, you know, college can be a really daunting thing. It can be a really difficult task. Um, and which is the reason why we have those support services available for you guys. But the idea is that you guys feel supported, right? So whenever you guys have questions, uh, don't be afraid of asking, don't be afraid of, of reaching out. We, uh, we, even if you haven't enrolled at Villa Maria College yet, you can reach out to us and ask us any questions. Um, but ultimately the, the, uh, the fun thing about this is just helping you guys grow and, and you'll be able to see how much uh, growth you, you've done, right? You started off with this freshman student and then you went over to the other side and, and um, you're pretty much finished, finished up with your degree. And Niles can kind of talk about that a little bit more because he's a say yes student that has gone through this whole process, right? Um, so whether that is like a bill related question or a say yes related question, uh, we'll be available for you guys to, uh, to take care of you. And it might be a simple question like, hey, Jonathan or anybody in the SSC, right? where's the bathroom? I don't know where the bathroom is. Uh, and we might point you in the right direction, or it might be a very complicated question um, regarding your GPA or your scholarship for say us. So whatever, um, whatever question you might have, you know, the idea is that you feel supported and then we answer all those questions for you. Um, so I am going to pass it out right now to uh, Jasmine, who will speak to you guys a little bit more about those support services that we uh, have available for you guys. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine Price and I am the Say Yes Counselor at Villa Maria College. I work in what we call the Care Center and through that department, we offer several services. Um, so Jonathan spoke about how he can assist you with those academic concerns and those academic needs. My main role is to assist with those non-academic needs. So as I mentioned, the Care Center offers several services. Um, so some of those services include one-on-one -on -one counseling. So that's more short-term is to, to kind of talk about that transition to college and um, any relationship issues, things like that. Um, and we actually partner with Endeavor Health Services, um, our on-campus clinic for more of those intense needs, more mental health concerns. Um, in addition, we do offer workshops. Um, so those range on topics from self-care to, to mindfulness. Again, we do offer um, a workshop about that transition to college because that can be a very difficult time. Um, so those workshops we offer, in addition, um, support groups. So we noticed that um, if there's a need, for example, we started a grief and loss support group this semester um, because we noticed that there were a lot of individuals who were experiencing loss. Um, so that's another service. In addition to that, um, mediation. So um, we don't always get along with, with our professors or we don't always see eye to eye with our peers. So we can offer um, mediations and kind of it's solution focused. So you wanna be able to um, come to a resolution and a goal in the end. Um, in addition to that, social work services. So um, if you're in need of housing support, food, transportation, employment, anything like that, we can um, refer you out to the community. Um, 
And last but not least, our academic recovery program. Um, so that is to help students who fall below the academic standard, help them get back on track. So you develop a um, academic recovery plan and um, we just assess some goals, um, things that you wanna accomplish to help get your grades back up. Um, and then this semester, Jonathan and I um, started, restarted the Say Yes Club. So that's going to be very student centered. Um, and it's just to get all the Say Yes students on campus engaged and um, to attend our events and things like that. So um, one thing I do want to stress is that, you know, Jonathan and, I, Jonathan and I, our titles are Say Yes, but we work with all students on um, Villa's campus because we are such a small school. So um, even if you, you aren't a Say Yes student, I'm the one that you'll come to for any non-academic needs and same with Jonathan, um, any academic concerns. Um, you'll go to him for that. So that is all about what I do at Villa. Um, next up is Villa's own Niles Moore, um, who is a senior this semester, so he can speak to his experience at Villa um, and also being a CS student. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so uh, my name is Niles. Uh, technically, I guess as of now, I am an alumni, so it's, it's been a good four strong years. Um, that being said, I guess I'll start with my um, my freshman year into Villamaria College. So I was very nerve, uh, it was very nerve wracking. Um, but then you have people like the advisors, like Jonathan and so forth, who kind of tear down that that college barrier from high school to college because it's always always a hard transition. But like they kind of uh, null it out for you and make it really adjustable for you to just simply adapt. Um, that being said, the people there, like just other students that kind of are really down the earth, they re re relate to you really closely. Mostly, they'll probably all have the same background for that matter. Um, and then like you have like, all, like we touched on a bunch of clubs. Again, a lot of those clubs are definitely self-made. Um, me, <laughs> me being part of a few of them like film club, animation club, and like, then there's the effort of and uh, Again, getting involved always helps with your college experience. I definitely feel like that helps with your college experience. Um, and then again, like the people in your major aren't always people you will see because you're, it's very integrated um, kind of school. So like we all dabble in the arts or in some way or another. So we all can always help each other in some way. So like I'm an animation student, so I'll probably ask music students for help as far as uh, SF, SFX goes and the film students for proper filmography and so forth. Um, and then as far as like my experience as a CS ambassador, which started back, I believe sophomore to junior year. And then technically I'm also an alumni of that now. So again, long, long road. <laughs> um, that being said, being a CS ambassador does help a lot because not only are you developing your skills in college, definitely like those soft skills, they really touch on those a lot more and they really help you um, build and become a strong leader on top of that. Reason, I guess the reason why I, then I, I eventually became an orientation leader for Villa for like the strong, the next, for like literally four years in a row <laughs> for uh, spring orientations and then so, and summer orientation as well. Um, but then back to being ambassador, being ambassador is more than just kind of um, polishing those skills you have. It's more about how can you get, how can you get back to those where you get back to those to who, who or get back to those who at your same spot in the beginning. So I'm going back talking to high school students, helping them adapt, helping them transition to college, answering any questions they have, and so forth. Um, because I was there before, so I understand how it feels. Um, and then that also means you're helping out the community. So you're giving back with Say Yes. And then you just kind of, so I, I, I'm also representative for uh, Say Yes for Villa. So again, I'm coming back for them. I'm kind of the middleman here. Um, <laughs> I, help, I help adjust and get things situated to some degree. And, and like now I'm kind of helping out. Um, just kind of make things clear. But as far as that, being at Villa for the four years has been a very good experience. And I can honestly say I'm leaving there confident in the career and confident with a bunch of friends and, I guess, family 
out of this. And then with being a state's ambassador, I feel even more confident, um, not but just for my public speaking, but like just having to carry myself a lot more. And as far as that goes, I think that's really about it. Did I not mention? Okay, so yeah, I am an animation major. Um, and then I kind of dabble within the filmography film kind of bit. So not a double major, but I, I definitely took a lot of film classes. So as of now, I feel I have two internships. So I, I as far as plans after this, I plan on going for my master's. That's still on the table. Then like I also have trying to find a few jobs either in the city or out the city. Um, and then there's a lot of things going on. So I'm also trying to start my own uh, not for profit see how that goes and kick that off. Um, just because the art scene in Buffalo is it, it's not that it's weak, it's just that it's not as apparent. So I wanna be able to build that up and make Buffalo even more than what it is. But yeah, that's, that's about it. Thank you, Miles, and um, excellent on all of your great work at Villa, and congratulations on now becoming an alum of Villa. Um, we do have a couple questions um, that people wanted to know. One in particular was, how does Villa Maria handle students who come in with, from high school with special accommodations? All right, so, um... Let me uh, give an answer to that right there. We, uh, I would say that because of the nature of the programs that we offer, so we have a lot of art programs um, and uh, we have a couple of programs that are kind of like in the healthcare industry. Uh, we have a pretty strong um, population of students with um, learning accommodations. Uh, what we do is as you're on board to, uh, to the college and you have that registration meeting, with uh, the person that's going to be advising you as you uh, continue your college career. Uh, we, we started off by identifying what are those accommodations that you used to have back in high school, right? Um, so the idea is that we sit down, we have a chat about what was your prior experience. Um, by law, we are not required to, to provide those accommodations for you guys, but we do, we actually do at Bill Maria College. Um, so, Depending on what your needs were prior to attending Villa, uh, we, we kind of set those up. Uh, for the most part, most of these accommodations that I see uh, come from like 504 plans or IEPs. So depending on what your actual plan was prior, if you can bring those accommodations and, and copy of that paperwork um, to your registration meeting, we can kind of like get those going. Uh, or we can set up a meeting with the health services office uh, so you can take care of that. So that's, that's like the normal um, onboarding process. So accommodations that I see that I, that I've seen that are serviced that way are maybe uh, you get time and a half for uh, completing an exam or you get double time or um, whenever you might doing a test, you might have like a separate testing area to complete your, your exam right there. Um, there's other accommodations in terms of your spatial seating on, on the classroom. So we take care of those too. Uh, you also might have like an accommodation for having uh, any of the, the projects that you're working on in terms of instructions or even a test, ha having a, an instructor kind of like read those out loud for you or give you like a separate set of instructions to be able to take care of your work. Um, so those are, those are pretty standard. Now, some of the other things that we do offer um, to be able to kind of like service you guys a little bit more is the, the ACHIEVE program. So the ACHIEVE program is something that you kind of enroll in after you've applied into the college. Um, it is at an extra cost, but I know that a lot of students uh, have it kind of like taken care of through their access VR. So they, that's another way to kind of pay for it. And for, for you to be a part of the Achieve program, uh, what, what do you get as a service? Well, you get an advisor that works with you one-on-one -on -one, as opposed to uh, regular advisors for um, just our normal way of onboarding people to the college. So uh, you're going to be working with that person throughout your four years. If you're doing a four-year degree, if you're doing a two-year degree, then uh, you'll be working with that person for that two-year degree for the, for the whole totality of it. Uh, you also get to do one-on-one -on -one tutoring 
and that is embedded within your schedule. So for example, if you wanted to take care of a tutoring appointment right now, um, as a regular student, you would probably figure out what the schedule of the tutors uh, is, and then you would pick a slot that works with your schedule. Now with the Achieve program, you can have a tutor just schedule around your time. So it gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of uh, where you receive those tutoring appointments and that one-on-one -on -one help. Uh, and you do it on a weekly basis. So basically you just sit down with somebody and take care of your work. Now I've seen some really, really good results um, academically from students. And um, it, it's all in, in if you wanna be a part of that Achieve program or not. But for the most part, if you're coming in with an IEP or a 504 plan, you will get service on what those accommodations are. Now, in terms of classroom sizes, which I think which was one of the questions that uh, was asked, uh, we, we tend to have a smaller classroom sizes, depending on the course, uh, you will get the amount of people kind of coming in. For most of our art uh, studio courses, the, the cap on a classroom is 12 people. Now, that doesn't mean that there's going to be 12 people in the course. It might be eight, there might be 10, there might be six, depending on what section you're in, right? Uh, but for the most part, you will have enough time to have that one-on-one -on -one with each instructor because um, it's kind of hard to teach an art class without having input and feedback from your instructors and kind of sitting one-on-one -on -one and, and chatting um, and getting your work done. The other thing that we have available for everybody, this isn't just for students with uh, learning accommodations. Some of these art courses have embedded tutors in them. So um, I, Niles, for example, has been an embedded tutor this past semester. And uh, one of the things that you can do, oh, Niles, we, we, we got you involved with everything, right? Uh, uh, one of the things that we can do is uh, while you're in your regular class, you might have a tutor that's actually walking around, um, helping you complete whatever task you're working on aside from, from uh, what you have from your teacher. So there's plenty of opportunities to, um, to kind of get in on that. And um, we can, we can kind of like help you identify what's the best plan and what's the best course of action for you. In terms of cost for the Achieve program, I'm not 100% sure. And Nate, I think uh, you can correct me on that one, but I know that mo I, I would say most of our students do take it uh, taken care of from the uh, Access VR perspective. And also we have um, one or two more questions. Uh, one more question was, Nate, you mentioned when applying for Villa to go to the website, um, is there an application fee at this time um, for Villa and what is it? Absolutely not, no, we never, we never have any sort of application fee. Um, it's free to apply. Um, so the, that's nothing that the students need to worry about. Um, and there was also a question on whether we require your SAT or ACT scores, and we are not. Uh, we are a test optional college, which is kind of the wave of the future. Um, but like we've mentioned on a lot of things, Ville's a lot more of a forward thinking college than, than maybe some of our colleges. But uh, we are at the front of that movement where we do not require any, any SATs, ACTs, or any sort of application fee at this time. And just to touch on, I also mentioned as well, because I know we have a question on the Achieve program, the cost is approximately $2,000, which it's, in reality, it's the only program like that in the Buffalo area. Um, I believe the next closest program is somewhere in Ohio. I believe Xavier University in Ohio is the next closest program that has that much, um, you know, interaction and that much uh, guidance for the students. So um, there's an additional cost. Um, on top of the tuition, um, but in our opinion, the cost certainly is worth the, the um, you know, what, what the student does receive. And um, can you talk a little bit about the scholarships that you have unique to Villa? You said that there was scholarships available on talent. Yeah, so Villa for the, if you're a student applying to Villa Marie College, we do offer both academic and talent scholarships. Because we are a school that is, um, you know, based in arts and technology, we, we do offer talent scholarships um, for students if they submit a portfolio. Um, that's something that once a student has applied, filled out that FAFSA, um, we encourage them to then, you know, to supply us with a portfolio so that that can be reviewed by the faculty. Excellent. And um, 
I know I have uh, another question for Niles. You talked a lot about your experience at Villa and what a great um, opportunities you had and what you took away from there. But thinking back way back to your senior year in high school, what was your initial reason for choosing Villa? Um, I chose Villa for a lot of different reasons. Um, one was being that uh, I'm very, I'm currently homebound, so it was in the area. Um, tuition didn't cost me an arm and a leg, considering that with the scholarships I was given and the scholarships uh, Villa kind of offers. And then on top of that, um, animation was uh, a major that wasn't really, um, it's not seen a lot in Buffalo. Like you could probably find it at ECC, but like Villa seemed to do it better. Um, that being said, I, went to Villa for all those particular reasons and then like small class sizes. Um, and then basically it gave me a really good introduction. Uh, and I kind of got hooked and that's why I found myself at Villa. And um, one last question about the Achieve program was, um, you guys had to mention it's about $2,000 extra on top of tuition. Is that every year? I believe that is a, a per year basis. Um, you know that that's a fee base. Um, the, the the cost goes directly towards um, you know paying for those additional tutors and whatnot. But um, you know there's we can certainly look at the options for financial aid to cover that. As Jonathan mentioned, there's also the opportunity for uh, access to VR if that's something that that you're currently working with as well. Very often the access to VR will cover that cost. Um, you know, the cost certainly is minimal compared to what the students are receiving, but we understand that, that everyone certainly has different financial needs, so we're there to help our students with every, any financial need. I see we also have a question about, do we encourage all students to join the T program? Um, that's something that's completely voluntary. So if you are interested, you can certainly join, uh, but you know, it's not a program that everyone has to join. It's just all about that individual tutoring that, that Jonathan mentioned. Um, so you know, some students may feel a need for it, some students may not. So it's ultimately up to however you, your parents feel that is a best fit for you. And, and uh, just to uh, kind of add a little bit to that, um, remember the ACHIEVE program um, only applies for students that actually have an IEP or a 504 plan coming in. So this is for students with learning differences that want to take advantage of that extra support. Um, our regular student body is going to be advised. Um, everybody gets advised through the Student Success Center and you get those support services offered for uh, through through our regular student body. So um, you would also have access to the care center, which is where Jasmine would help you um, or help you out. And you can take advantage of all those workshops. You would, uh, as a Say Yes student, you would still have access to everything else that we regularly offer, including our, our Say Yes meeting. So a lot of it is just getting involved with the uh, campus community and, um, and figuring out what's a good fit for you, you know. Um, the Achieve program, you can get on the Achieve program whenever you would like. So you don't have to do that from the beginning if it's something you uh, you qualify for or you have a need for um, but you will get a, a regular advisor um, which is which is a lot of what I do at Villa Maria College um, and and you get supported in a lot of just very similar ways now the only difference is I advised uh, I advise students that are coming in depending on what program you're coming in so guys if you have questions related to those um, specific programs that we offer now is a good time to do that too to ask those but um, but for the most part, what we do is we, we take care of you um, as soon as you come in, then you, uh, then you have uh, also the, the support from a program advisor who's one of the faculty members uh, that is going to teach you. So you're going to get advising from a lot of different perspectives, and that's really going to be able to uh, kind of like set you up for success, right? Um, sometimes you might be looking at that list of classes that you're going to have to take, and whether you're in the Achieve program or you're getting advising through the, uh, the Student Success Center, uh, you might not even know what, what classes you got to pick for, for your schedule, right? So we sit down with you guys. We have those meetings. We, we help you kind of like uh, understand how your program planner works and what are good decisions or, or good suggestions for, uh, for your program. And as you go along, you know, Niles mentioned uh, he's doing an internship. You know, that's part of the conversation too. We help you figure out what are those uh, electives that you should be doing 
what's a good idea or a complementive uh, elective, complementary elective to your to your program. Um, you know, because for example, if you were doing a photography class, maybe a good idea is for you to do some sort of graphic design course to complement your degree, right? So we'll walk you through that process and and help you uh, identify what are those areas for you to um, be successful. So when you graduate, you're in the best position to acquire a job and, and get on the right track, right? So I think that's uh, all the questions we have right now. Um, I wanna remind everyone to feel free to go to the Villa website um, and contact Villa's admissions office. If you have any more questions, they're more than happy to answer anything. As you can see, they've been wonderful today. I wanna to thank all of our Villa Maria College representatives for sharing all this valuable information with us. And as always, we're here for you, open for everyone. And please stay tuned at 2.30, we will be um, coming on with Do You a College for study tips. Um, a couple of our wonderful young ladies were on yesterday and they'll be back today. So stay tuned, we'll see you in a few at 2.30. Bye guys. <laughs>